All right, take two. Last time I tried to record this video, somehow at the very end I did not divide by two, and uh, I hit save without uh, fixing that, and uh, of course I had to repeat the whole video. So here we go. Uh, well, first thing we're gonna do, we're going to write x i y i. Uh, I'm going to write the system as a vector, or in vector form, as follows. Where, if you can see, I basically, all I did is grab the coefficients in front of the x's and the y's, I play, place them in a matrix, and you can check that this is indeed true. Now, if I were to apply that recurrence relation to this vector, what I would obtain is the following. I would obtain 2, 1, 1, 2 times, and now applying the same recurrence relation to the vector xi minus 1, I would get xi minus 2, yi minus 2. So this right here is just going to be the vector xi minus 1, yi minus 1, but just, just using the recurrence relation. Before continuing, conv convince yourself that this is true, that you agree with this step. And if you agree with that step, you can inductively continue and obtain the following. 2, 1, 1, 2 to the i times x0, uh, y0. <clears throat> so it would suffice to find a nice expression for this matrix, say, if we let A be the matrix 2, 1, 1, 2, what we want is an expression to the for the matrix A to the I. To do this, we're going to use a diagonali diagonalization of the matrix. And why is that? Well, if I could diagonalize A by writing P, D, P inverse, Whenever I calculate the i power of a, what I'm going to have is going to be p d p inverse. It looks almost like a d. Let's make it a little bigger. p d p inverse, and you multiply like that i times. And the beauty of it is that the p inverse p in between are always going to cancel and you're going to end up with p, d to the i, p inverse. So this right here is very easy because you just the power of a diagonal matrix is going to be the power of the diagonals. So what we're going to do then is diagonalize the matrix. So to diagonalize, what we're going to need is going to be we're going to need eigenvalues and eigenvectors. Okay, so let's find out the eigenvalues. To calculate the eigenvalues, we start out by writing the characteristic polynomial. So the determinant of 2 minus lambda, 1, 1, 2 minus lambda, and we set the characteristic polynomial equal to zero to find the roots of the characteristic polynomial. What we obtain here is going to be 2 minus lambda squared minus 1 equals zero, which in turn is going to give us lambda squared minus 4 lambda plus 4 minus 1 plus 3. And we can factor this as lambda minus 1 lambda minus 3 equals 0. So we get our eigenvalues. Lambda equals to 1 and lambda equals to 3. So with the eigenvalues at hand, we can now uh, calculate the eigenvectors. So for lambda equals 1, what do you do? Well, you grab your matrix, original matrix, and you subtract 
the eigenvalue along the diagonal, or basically just plug in lambda in the expression a minus lambda i, in this case lambda is 1. So I obtain this, which is going to be, I should probably write a minus lambda i equals, so it's clear, 1, 1, 0, uh, doing the row essential form already, 1, 1, 1, 1. So we find a reduced row echelon form of this, and that gives us 1, 1, 0, 0. Okay. Now with this, we obtain that uh, the null space of A minus lambda I, or the kernel, which is going to be the eigen uh, space for lambda, in this case lambda is equal to 1, is going to be just the span of the vector negative 1, 1. We read this off of the uh, reduced row echelon form where it says x1 plus x2 equals 0. So we have that x2 is going to be negative x1 and we plug in that in the vector and we obtain that. All right, so we have our first eigenvalue. Now we do the second eigen, sorry, eigenvector. We do the next eigenvector for the eigenvalue lambda equals to 3. <coughs> well, in this case, our matrix would turn out to be negative 1, 1, 1, negative 1. And if we calculate the reduced row echelon form of it, we obtain 1, negative 1, 0, 0, which in turn gives us that the eigenspace for the eigenvalue 3, let me write it as E3, is the span of the vector 1, 1. So with all this, we can put together P as the matrix with the eigenvectors as columns, so negative 1, 1, and 1, 1, and D as the matrix, diagonal matrix with the corresponding eigenvalues in the entries. The first eigenvalue we listed, the first eigenvector corresponds to eigenvalue 1, so we put that as our first entry. And then the second eigenvector corresponds to eigenvalue 3, so we put that as our second entry. And then we can calculate calculate P inverse because we're going to need that and we use the um, um, shortcut version if you want which is going to be 1 over the determinant which is going to be negative 1 this negative 1 times 1 minus 1 times 1 so minus 1 and then times you exchange the entries in the diagonal and multiply all the entries by negative 1 so it's going to give you that the inverse, when you put this one half inside, gives you negative one half inside, sorry, negative one half, one half, one half, and one half. Okay? This is the one half I forgot last time. So, this is why I had to repeat the whole video. I must say the other one was wonderful. This time is not as good. Of course, I can say that because I deleted the last video. So, here we go. <laughs> so, let's write what we have. We have now, remember that xi, yi, I wrote as p d to the i p inverse times x naught and uh, y naught. Apparently I'm receiving a lot of emails, which is going to be 1, 2. Um, so what we can do is um, we can calculate this on the side. So let's do that. So p d to the i p inverse is going to be the matrix negative 1, 1, 1, 1. d is just going to be 1 to the i, which is 1, 0, 0, and 3 to the i. And then negative a half, a half, a half, and a half. We multiply all this out and let's see what we get. By the associativity of the product, I can start just multiplying these guys out first. So it's going to give me the first column just gets copied, and the second one is going to be multiplied times 3i, 3 to the i, sorry. And then I can multiply times the other matrix.
which is going to give me then one half of one. I guess I have negative half times ne negative one is one minus three to the i. Um, and then one half of one plus. Um, uh, I think I got it wrong right here. Negative one plus three to the i. Okay, now for the second column I get one half, and this one's probably easier to write it three to the i minus one, and one half of uh, one plus or three to the i plus one. All right, so now that I have this expression right here for pd to the i p inverse, which is nothing else but a to the i, uh, then I can plug it in here and obtain my result. It's going to be x i y i is going to be equal to this matrix times the vector 1, 2. This is going to boil down to 1 half of 1 minus 3 to the i uh, plus 2 times 1 half of 3 to the i minus 1, which becomes just 3 to the i minus 1. And below we're going to have 1 half of negative 1 plus 3 to the i, and then plus 2 times this entry, which is going to be 3 to the i plus 1. divider there. Okay, we're basically done. All we have to do is simplify this expression and we obtain that xi, yi, so the i terms of my sequences are going to be 1 half minus 1 is going to be negative 1 half and then I want to have uh, negative 1 half plus uh, 3 to the i plus uh, 3 to the i is going to be uh, 1 half 3 to the i. And the other one is going to give me 1 half plus 1 is going to be 3 halves 3 to the i. So 1 half 3 to the i plus 1. And then I'm going to have plus 1 minus a half, plus 1 half. And I obtain those expression, expressions for xi and yi. And that's that. So I hope you enjoyed it this time because it's the second time around. Okay, before leaving, I had gotten a different result and I figured I had a mistake. When you multiply this column with this row, you get plus one half, and then you get plus three to the i. So this should have been a plus, thank goodness I checked. And uh, then when you multiply, this will become plus, and this will give you an i plus one. So plus one. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, let me erase that parentheses and fix that plus one. And now we're done.